Hey guys, it's me, Bita, and I'm doing a new series on my YouTube called 100 Things to Do Before Summer Ends. I hope you guys enjoy, and stay tuned because I'm releasing new episodes every single Friday. Where were we? We were all the way over there. That's crazy. Captain. Yes, sir. Okay, now what do we do? Where are we going? Okay, that's one way of doing it. We're going to the sea. The sea? Oh, no. <laughs> I can't get over your hat. <laughs> oh. Fall, fall, fall. <laughs> okay. So, I have decided that we are going to create a chain. We need your life jacket. We've tied his to mine. Ah. Don't let go. <laughs> So one wait. of us can paddle. <laughs> but wait, I'm in the front! Yeah. I have to paddle. I'm the one with the camera. No, we're all paddling. I'll hold the camera. You'll hold the camera? Yeah. I don't trust you. Okay. It floats, but still I don't trust you. I'll jump you. in for it if I drop it. Mm. <laughs> uh. Oh my god! Uh-oh. You good? Ah. Hey, grab my paddle. I'm good. You gotta get the water out or it's hey, gonna sink. <laughs> So, he's in the water now. He's going to swim. We have the uh, waterlogged one tied with life rafts to these two. It wasn't mine. And he's... What are you going to do? You're just going to send it? You're going to swim all the way back? Yeah. Do you want to take the waterlogged one as like a life raft? Or you want my life vest as something? Wait, what's on that for? I'm just saying. I'll, I'll just take breaks. Okay. So... We're going to try and pull this is what our plan is because it didn't work the first time. Well, first time you had a 19 year old boy in there. True, but it's still waterlogged. I mean, we can try it. The seat the seat looks busted. This is true. But uh, okay, you ready? Let me uh, before we leave, let me try it with mess with it real quick. What are you trying to mess with? So we ended up getting to shore. I pulled the waterlogged one. Justin swam back. William was in the other one. We put all the water out, and we have seven, <laughs> seven minutes left <laughs> to get all the way back over there. But I think we're gonna have to pay for another hour. It's it's totally fine. So I have everyone's valuables in mind: waterlogged wallets and phones, hats and stuff are strewn everywhere. Everyone's taking a break. They're all soggy. Okay, I look like a mess as always, but we're just gonna ignore my hair. So, I woke up today and I had a dream last night that I made a birdhouse. And I'm like, wait, isn't that like one of the things on my to-do list? It was, so I'm like, oh my god, I need to build a birdhouse, like this is a sign. So, I have this piece of wood and I just drew out my plans. So this is gonna be the front. Here's my little circle, thanks to my lucky compass. Uh, the back, and then this is gonna be the floor. These are the sides, and then this piece and this piece are the roof. And I left a whole bunch of extra because my dad's gonna be cutting it. And if we've learned anything from the past is that um, have extra because Christopher cannot cut a straight line even if it's drawn. So, I'm gonna go ahead and darken all of the lines that need to be cut in trying to erase everything that's not supposed to be cut so there isn't any mix-ups because I don't want to do this three different times. Okay, it's a while later. I'm on my couch right now and I just made little itty bitty baby shutters for my birdhouse. We put it together, so this is it. Plain old burn house, I have to paint it still. And I made shutters for either side of the opening. And then I'm going to do a penny roof. So I have to clean these pennies. So I think I'm just gonna put vinegar on them and let them sit overnight and see how that works out. And then my idea is to take popsicle sticks and like outline the house like this high all the way around and then I have three different paint colors these are my paint brushes and paint stirrers 
and we have white which is going to go above the popsicle sticks on the house and then we have black for the shutters and then i have this really pretty burgundy color that i found um for the bottom of the popsicle sticks and the popsicle sticks and then i don't know what i'm going to do as the base but i'll figure it out so these are like all paints that my dad has had downstairs he's a painter if you guys remember and um yeah i just like put this peanut butter all over everything and we nailed it together so i just have to sand it and then i'm gonna paint it and then i have to find some type of adhesive to put the pennies on and i'm gonna like layer them like shingles okay i just glued all the popsicle sticks on so now i have to paint the shutters and glue it and then i'm gonna let all the glue dry and then i'm gonna paint it well actually then i have to sand it then i have to paint it so let's get the love back okay so i just finished painting i still have to do the pennies i'll do those tomorrow look at how cute this is the little black shutters and the red and the white i paint it up underneath and the sides of the roof white, but this whole thing is gonna be covered in pennies, so. I think it looks cute, doesn't it? I think it looks so cute. I think I did a really good job. Yes, I did get some red everywhere, but uh, it's okay. Once it dries, I can touch it up. So, let's go check on our pennies. Let's go to the store and try and find the, um what's it called the stuff to glue the pennies on let's go to Walmart this is what we're gonna be using it says it bonds virtually everything plastics woods rubber metal glass ceramics and more so hopefully it'll work on pennies and wood Plus, I don't know if they really changed like I guess they look a little cleaner yeah I guess they do okay I'm going to put them out on this baking tray and let them, like, evaporate in the sun and let them dry, is what I'm trying to say. So, I just took a shower. So, apparently, I needed to paint the roof to, like, seal it in from the weather. So, I have to paint the roof real quick, and I ran out of my sponges, so I have to use one of my real paintbrushes. And it looks like... No, they're still wet. Okay, I was about to say the pennies are dry, but they're not, which is good because we have to let this dry and then we have to glue the pennies on. So yeah. Weeks later and um, the last clip you saw was me painting the rest of the house and I didn't even put the pennies on. I'm laughing because I had the birdhouse, it's finished by the way, next to me and it kind of just rolled off of the bed and Man, I built that thing and it's hardy. It did not break. <laughs> so my plan was to do shingles, right? But as you can see, um, something went wrong and it is not shingles, but it does look very cute. I will say it has not been outside yet. It has been sitting on my table for like almost two weeks now. I just haven't gotten a chance to put it outside. <laughs> But, um, basically, I started to put the shingles and, like, layer them, but they would not stick. Like, for the life of me, I could not get them to stick. And I don't know if it was that glue or if I was doing something wrong, but I watched a video and he used that glue and he put shingles made of pennies on a birdhouse. And... For some reason, it just wasn't working for me. So I started to put them like on top of each other. And then my dad's like, well, why don't you stagger them so there's less white? So this is what this side looks like. I did this and then I left it. And then my mom did the other side, but she forgot that I put one straight. Also, she like 
put them over the edge. I don't know what she did, but this is the finished product for my birdhouse. I think it's cute. I do think it does, it, it turned out really good. Um, I still have to drill holes in the bottom. And then we have to figure out where the heck I'm gonna put this. But I think that's gonna be it for this video because I'm sorry if you can't hear me over my air conditioner, but it's it's been a rough ride. And I've been trying to edit this video. And the first half was me kayaking and a lot of the footage that I had was through Snapchat, so I saved it and then I like put it on my computer, but the formatting was off and whenever I put it into Lightworks, which is my editing app, it just messed up everything, so I had to cut out a whole bunch of that footage. So in the beginning, I went kayaking with my friend Justin and his friend William, and William ended up falling in, as you saw. We got back, it was fun, we hung out the rest of the day, and then the birdhouse. So that's basically it in this video. Um, this this project took a lot of my time for some reason, <laughs> but uh, I think it looks cute. I'm really I'm really happy with it. So anyway, <laughs> I didn't even do an outro. <laughs> School is starting in three days, and my brain's like not ready for anything. So. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, whatever, and <laughs> I'm sorry I'm such a mess, but I'm sorry this was like very choppy as well, as I said, like a whole bunch of clips didn't get put in, but thank you guys, <laughs> thank you Emma for watching this, bye. <laughs>